Charles Hummel, who was the president of Barrington College in Rhode Island, Barrington since has right. merged into Gordon. Charles Hummel had been the director of faculty ministries for InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, wrote a book called Fire in the Fireplace, one of the best books on balance. And he said the trouble is a lot of the old mainline churches, especially First Church downtown, every denomination has First Church downtown in a major city, beautiful fireplace. Everything about it is well done, but it's cold. No fire. Then there's some little group outside of town that's on fire for Jesus. Trouble is they're not warming people, they're burning people. <laughs> the fire needs the fireplace. Mm -hmm. The fireplace needs the fire. Usually what happens, I find, some Christian who's yeah, professing Christ but kind of pretty spiritually dead goes off on a retreat or there's a lay witness weekend in one's church and comes on fire and Jesus first thing they want to do demolish the fireplace I don't need to read any books I just need to love Jesus I don't need to follow any order of service well you know what every church has an order of service they may not admit yeah. it every right. church has right. a liturgy so let's demolish all of that stuff and I'm just going to groove in Jesus those people blow up right you know, your comment at chapel this morning about dry up versus blow up is fire in the fireplace right, in a right, different term. Right, right. And Charlie Hummel's book has so helped me to realize academic, orthodox scholarship and being on fire for Jesus. Wesley pulled it off. Mm -hmm. Right. Good, solid ministry, understanding there were certain things that never work. You know, you don't just grab people and shake them. Rarely does that work. Mm -hmm. Truth without love, love without truth. There are things that just don't work. Let's build the bricks of the fireplace of solid, sound ministry. Now that you've come on fire, don't demolish the fireplace. You need the fireplace all the more. And if I want my fire in the Lord to grow, I need a bigger fireplace if it's going to bear fruit mm -hmm. in the long run. Otherwise, we're going to burn things down. And there are churches now, Pentecostal churches now, that are dry as dust because they just cannot sustain another church split over crazy wildfire. So as a result, the pastor and the leaders are kind of dampening things down for survival. But you go there and it's dead. Mm -hmm. They need a Holy Ghost revival, and theoretically they are the Holy Ghost revival, but you wouldn't <laughs> know it. And the answer to that is you don't need a fire extinguisher. You need a fireplace.